permits still need to be issued to Maine to allow construction? How can we permit a project that we would not allow in our own states? I most read the High Court back from 1984 regarding the 10,000 carried the ground by the hydro flooding. Hydro quick biologists are diligently working to determine the safe level of human fish ingestion due to mercury released by the flooding. This was increased April when the caribou were not present. By 2020, they say it'll re reach a peak if nothing else is flooded. Where does it go? When questioned as to the source of the 1,200 megawatts, CNP has offered a couple different stories. One is it is coming from Ontario and New York. And the other is it is from new flooding and upgrade of the Hydro-Quebec turbines. In order to determine if the purported 265,000 tons carbon reduction is anywhere near accurate, we really need to know where it's coming from, not just take a word from it. There are a few references uh, to online material I have here. Um, my note is please do take the time to read these articles. Although dated, they bring up the same questions we are asking today. If these were included in the monthly power bill envelope, I do not believe ratepayers anxious to pay a premium for green power would be so inclined. Ethics. No. This topic is rarely listed as a government concern. But why is it okay to purchase a product from another country that we by legislation have not allowed in our home due to environmental and aesthetic concerns? Why the double standard? And why is Maine being asked by Massachusetts to be complicit in the increased environmental devastation? Shame on both states for this. Fast tracking. New Hampshire spent over 10 years to defeat a similar proposal. Maine is looking at less than a year. In fact, Central Maine Power bought the corridor before the contract opportunity was available. It was October of 2017. The reason is clearly tied to the demand for energy and to be the responsible party to provide it. Major money is at stake for Central Maine Power and hydro power. New York analysts came up with a figure of 60 million in annual net profit for Central Maine Power. Certainly qualifying as a major incentive for rapid project completion. This is property. Money that Massachusetts is not spending on product that could be invested in their own infrastructure. And such a part of Quebec may be in the same range, and they have stated they want to be the battery. I suggest they energize all Canada first. Clearly, there is no power crisis in New England. Otherwise, electrons would be flowing under Lake Champlain as cost would be no barrier at desperate times. The only reason for rapidly pursuing the project is to ensure Spain and Canada are not excluded from the profit. I apologize for referring to Central Maine Power so many times when more accurately it is available. The public has a more comfortable perception of a New England company than it does of a large Spanish company, and project proponents have chosen to continue to use the name of a New England in conclusion, I ask that this department reconsider the request to have Maine be involved in this rush to tie up a portion of the New England power supply, ensuring Maine is responsible for a New England system. Withdrawing entertainment of the NECEC proposal will ensure New England is responsible for its own power generation. <clears throat> Many will say the boat's already sailed and its course cannot be altered. Please take hold of the rudder, return to safe port, and live the slogan, Spirit of America. With all respect for your consideration, our hands. I have another letter from another person that I will leave with you as well, for just record. I have a number of books. Thank you.
Um, Kimberly, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y, Lyman, L-Y-M-A-N. I'm terrified right now. Um, I'm a resident of Caratonk, Maine, population 69. Um, I live right next to the Kennebec River. I hike, I bike, I raft, I hunt, I fish, and I breathe there. And I urge you to reject this CMP power line expansion. This will have real financial impacts to people in Maine. Um, our population isn't huge, as you can see. I'm a whitewater raft guide of 21 years. I have future plans to expand into recreational guiding. My husband is a master Maine guide and fishing guide. His income as a fly fishing guide depends on our area continuing to be the increasingly rare place of peace and beauty that it is. People come here to experience a place that does not look urban or citified. The more damage that is done, the less likely it will be to attract the people who come here to experience this beauty. I got here to Boston today, it's my second time ever, and I see people sitting in the chairs on the lawns and they're trying to get some green. And uh, every weekend, if I head south for anything, and by south I mean to Waterville, um, there's lines of cars coming from Massachusetts to spend time where I live, and I, I get it. I see this, and I, I get it. Um, I see why they're coming there, but if this line is put there, it won't look the way it looks today. Um, we humans were the stewards of this earth. This is not just about our 53 miles. And I'd like to say not in my backyard, but I'm actually concerned for all of the people. I've been attending all of the meetings. I've been seeing people from all of the different areas crying over this. Um, it was kept really quiet, <coughs> and we've recently only just begun to learn about this, and people are standing up and saying, no, it's really late. Um, but, but all of us, the people from CMP, us, you, me, um, often, to grow, to look for other options, the words no have to be said. I'm a parent. Two of my two oldest children are guides already. I'm sure my youngest will become a guide. Um, I've had to say no to them so many times, which has forced them to look for other options. I think that no to this will force other better options for energy. They're out there. Um, I don't know all of the tech and lingo for that, but there is newer technology. There are other options. Um, if they're told no, they'll have to look for that. <laughs> the cheapest electricity doesn't mean the best electricity. Um, and the word mitigate, it means to reduce or alleviate. There's, there aren't any millions. The money that's been mitigated and offered to our area sounds like a lot of money, especially to the poverty-stricken people in the area. It's not the money. You couldn't offer a hundred million and it, it would still not change what you're ruining. It would not alleviate it. And stating a bunch of facts to a group of people in a room is a tough way to make an impact. It's tough to make you see what I'm talking about. You can't hear the sound of the water and the sound of the wind and the trees and the birds and crickets. I've slept in my hammock for the last five nights listening to that. I can't imagine opening my eyes to see the power lines. So please insist on a better option for getting power to mass. Insist on conserving energy and finding better and less damaging means because by doing so, you'll help preserve what is so special about Maine and you can come and see it. I'll take your wrap thing. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your statement. We've reached the end of the sign-in sheet. Is there anyone else here from the public who wishes to make a statement?